Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am coloring what I artistically named Deku, uh, which is basically Izumiku Midoriya from uh, My Hero Academia. Um, I didn't have the original sketch uh, recorded. This was actually just kind of a warm-up doodle that I wound up really liking, and um, but I do have the kind of more detailed sketch coming in, which is nice. Um, I haven't really had the good energy to sit down and record out like a very straight up sketch, uh, which always kind of feels like missing out on a part of the process, but um, maybe someday I'll have energy to sit down and record and edit out all the failures. <laughs> um, uh, and as you can see, it's really quick right into the line art. I was fairly happy with this line art. Um, there's a little weird bits to it, but I really tried to make sure that it was clear and understandable and with purpose. Um, clothing can kind of be rough sometimes. You kind of want to add detail to give it that extra weight and feeling. Um, you know, you want to like make it super frumpy or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but for me, it's like the little details and, you know, giving some volume to the shoelaces like we just saw or the stripe down the pants leg. This isn't his official hero costume. Um, for some reason, I wanted to draw him in like a sweat kind of gear, almost kind of more like the original Spider-Man Homecoming uh, kind of vibe where it's just like he found like some green sweat pants and the sweatshirt made his own costume. Um, something about that just was really appealing than just going in and doing the design which there are already kind of tons of art for. Uh, getting into the coloring, I kind of went through a few different bouts of coloring trying to use different brushes. These are some of the watercolor brushes I have but I never use because they're kind of tricky to figure out how I want them to react, so I think, and this is um, me losing a brush, there we go, uh, <laughs> and this is actually something I don't do really often where I'm um, masking out his whole figure so I can just color it all in one piece. It was more of a experiment. I don't do it that often. There isn't really a need for me to do it that often. Um, it's basically the same thing as just straight coloring. It makes it a little easier so I don't have to think about it during the process, I guess. Uh, so there you can see he's completely masked out and then I just do a flat color uh, rather than messing with my uh, long list library of unnecessary brushes. Uh, we're getting into some of the base coloring. I just really like his design aesthetic. It's kind of... It kind of like backs away from standard hero while also like going to old hero. I don't know. I've been I'm really late to the Hero Academy fan base. I only recently just watched it. Oh, this is me trying to make an homage to uh, his actual hero costume with this like faded uh, coloring. I wind up not keeping it, but it's fun to experiment. Um, but yeah, I got in super late. I had my own reasons for staying away. Uh, it wouldn't be the first anime where I kind of, you know, I heard the hype. I didn't want to be that person that was on the outside. That's happened to me before where I get super drum up by the hype and then I just don't get it. Um, but I'm super into the show. It's right up my alley. I've been kind of a little bit obsessive <laughs> over the past couple of months. Um, which is fine. It's actually great because I've been living in Japan for uh, almost three years now and I've never had, um, I've never had the opportunity to really, uh, enjoy an anime while I'm here, which is a completely different experience because there's so much more merch I can waste my money on. Uh, getting back to the art, right now I am doing a very, like, I, you take the main line art layer and we go through and we basically uh, use one of the lock options to make it its own mask. Um, so I can use colored line art, which um, allows me to make the line art a little less prominent, but still very much there. Um, and it allows me to kind of focus more onto the 
uh, shading and lighting, which we're getting more into just right now. Um, having good detail into line art is, or into, well, line art as well, but into shading is something that I really start to enjoy. There's a, usually a part of the process, and it's kind of in about the the line art and the base coloring phase where I get really kind of done with a work. Like mentally, I just don't see the reason to keep working on it um, or finish it. Uh, I, I get exhausted by it. Um, but for some reason lately, lately doing the shading and light lighting coming back and just like kind of rediscovering depth and it feels like you're kind of sketching uh, something new that kind of re-energizes me and makes me more excited to uh, step back in and keep working. Um, on this piece in particular, I, it's not the first time I've done this, but it's definitely something I don't do often. I did two rounds of shading, so we take this uh, blue color, we put it on multiply, we lower the opacity, and we hit all the spots in the shading area, and then I go do a second pass um, on a second layer, and that's where we get those slightly more deeper, uh, those deeper shadows uh, against his leg and his arm. And then we actually have a third set, which is just basically for depth, we have the bunny ear and his other leg. Um, and now I'm trying to just basically add some extra color into the piece and some depth, some weight so he's just not floating in space. And then the green lightning, which I absolutely love. I love his power up. I love the, the flare of animation of the energy crackling around him in the anime. It's just so cool. I might have gone a little bit overboard. Uh, there's a little extra texture for fun. Um, but I really enjoyed um, adding that in a special feature. And then we have the kanji for his name, which um, yeah, that was just also fun, just to try and practice that out. So there's the finished work. Um, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It's got some great texture. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more in the future, and thanks for watching!